back to other episodes of Zombiecraft. <clears throat> uh, I know I said I'd have B4 and B6 dug out by now, but um, school has been doing this thing called uh, killing me and stealing all my energy every time it does so. So basically I get nothing done during the week because I'm that tired. Except Legacy, because Legacy is just me faffing about in the world. Literally no rhyme or reason to Legacy, it's just an insight into how I play Minecraft, I guess. Uh, whereas Yondercraft, I do things like grind, and when I can't get on all week... Is this the right shulker? Yeah. When I can't get on all week because I'm tired to the point where I can't take a shower... That is, um... Undesirable, let's be honest, that's not something that I particularly enjoy. And also, it is uh, un not good for videos because I have gotten zero digging done. So, instead of trying to push myself and honestly just hurt myself worse, we're gonna do some interior decorating! Yay! I have all these blocks that I'm going to use in the residential area. No clue where. None whatsoever. I should have brought another shovel. <coughs> Oops. My shovel supplies. Um, yeah. So we're gonna do some interior design. So the first thing I know is that the rec room the cafeteria and the cafeteria and this hallway specifically have to look a little more homey than the kitchen, the pantry, and the uh, entryway and the medical center. Of course, those places still have to look welcoming. This is the residential area, but it's not as important. So, let's see. This doesn't have to look as non-threatening, so I think I want smooth- actually, I should put my baked potatoes in my offhand. I have zero lighting methods at the moment. Um, let's see, actually, let me make some polished andesite. I think tiles here would do us well. And then I'll take my concrete. And this is what we'll use for this area. So, let's take out the floor first. Important part to put in a new floor in is you can't have the old floor there. Iron! Yeah, I can pretend I'm Minecraft rich, but I will always be the kind of player- oh. Oh, that hits the ceiling of this floor. Good to know, where's my cobble? means I can just spoose down here and plug this up, and when I bother finishing that, <coughs> I can, uh, dig that out. Just this will go back here, and I'll get my pick back out, and actually, no, that won't go back there, because if I end up putting concrete powder down here, that's gonna be the opposite of fun. I'll just remove this whole floor. <coughs> Something integral to making a floor look better. And then I'll just probably torch spam again. Because I didn't bring any lighting methods because I haven't decided exactly how I'm going to light this yet. And the gravel. And I think I'm going to start with smooth stone around the edges. I could absolutely be using half as many blocks as I am. And in fact, I think I'm gonna do so. Because that would probably be an intelligent thing to uh, not waste blocks. Oh, the server's lagging. How lovely. Well, let's see how far I can get it to rubber band me. Wow, all the way to the start. Oof. Some 
spicy lag going on. So we'll just take this out and I'll turn everything I have to slabs. Except the concrete. Maybe we don't have concrete slabs. Oh yeah, concrete slabs win. This will become slabs and this will become slabs and that will allow me to uh, use half as many blocks to achieve Actually, these need to cause that's yeah. This hallway doesn't have to be homey. So and then whoops. This I hear a spider, but I don't care. spicy if I could uh, stop lagging, but you know how it goes. I like this. This is pretty. Let's just... And the best part is because I'm gonna have the elevators the way that I am, it's pretty much gonna be a few piston flying machines, which I hope I don't destroy the server with, because flying machines... And pretty much there's going to be a flush floor here, so I'm probably going to have a similar floor to this because I really like how this looks. This is like sexier than spruce wood. And it's going to extend all the way out to basically where I have the elevator shafts. There's going to be two, maybe I might be able to fit one small room, but pretty much there's just going to be little rooms where each elevator goes up and down. This one might get one just because it's B1. And it'd be a lot simpler for me to stick B1's elevator just as one elevator. Okay, wall time. I'm going to have to make a new shovel right now. We'll make three stone shovels. And I'll tear out all the dirt here. And this will be our tester wall. If it doesn't look good on this wall, it's not going to look good. These need to be in my hands somewhere, because there is no way this is safe without them. Okay. Safe. I think I want to do this. Yeah. Hold on. What if I used stone? Would that look better? It does, actually. Maybe I use powder for here then, and then I use concrete for the ceiling? Hmm. All very important things to think about, because- oh, hmm. What if I just use powder for all of it? Because <clears throat> I'm not a fan of how different those textures are. But also, I don't want this to be flat and smooth. There we go. That looks like drywall! Perfect! Let me get my shovel and take out this dirt. And I'll get my new drywall up. It's not going to go here because I don't have... Um... I don't have doors there yet. So... Not there yet, but soon. Gotta decide if I- I think I'll just use iron doors and pressure plates. I think this is simple enough for that would work for entryways. Okay. Woohoo! This is so pretty. This feels exactly like I'm recreating my doctor's office, funny enough. <laughs> yeah. This is, uh... This is a lot like what my doctor's office looks like. <laughs> uh, I don't know if I like that. I, I, I guess if I don't make the floors the same as the ones in my doctor's office, it'll be fine. 
I am uh, perhaps not a fan of the doctor. But only perhaps. And <clears throat> I'm not going to admit to anything further than that. Okay, I'm actually going to fill this in. Finish carving this out. And then go get the iron doors because that's not fun. So let's go get some iron doors real quick and not think about how much that looks like a doctor's office. Do -do 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 -do. On the way to get some iron doors and stone pressure plates. Good news is I still have a lot of iron from when the 1.13 or 1.14.3 iron farm was working, so I can ch oh my inventory is nice and full. Doors stack, right? Oh, they stack. Lifesaver. I don't have room in my inn. We'll just stick this in here and put this leather back. I need. Pressure plates. Stone pressure plates. We'll make ten. That's not gonna be enough. I'll make, uh, I need 36. So now I need 26 more. Or we'll make 30. If that works. I am going to not say no to that. Uh, this will go up, and this will come down, and this will come down, and now we can go. <clears throat> now we can enter <clears throat> B1. Okay. Okay. Back down we go now that I can actually complete this because doors. I think I'm probably going to use regular doors. Oh no. Ouch. That hurt. I think I'm probably going to use regular doors. For, uh, it's funny enough, I still have like the least decks on the server. Uh, I'm probably gonna use regular doors for B1, and then every other floor beneath that will have regular doors if it's supposed to look less terrifying, and uh, glass doors if it's not. Alright, I'll just ride this fine down. Thank god I have no levels ever on me at any one time. There's my stuff. Oh, this fine ends. Oh, my armor didn't break. I really thought it would. Neato. Let's put my potatoes in my hand. Oh, dirt. Nice. Climb back up. And then we will do the thing. Okay. So I can't have pressure plates on both sides. For, oh, my tools are all messed up. This is bad. And then I had this here. And this out. And my water bucket. Okay. So this and this and then pressure plate. Okay. I'm gonna install the pressure plates first as a precaution because I don't want to lock myself out. Okay. Now comes the concrete. That's stone, which you can't dig with the shovel. You can, actually, but, uh, it's hard. Now is time for white concrete. This is gonna make a roof that doesn't look like a popcorn roof. And also that I'm not gonna have to string to prevent powder from falling down. A very smart choice on my part, if you ask me. It's also gonna make the ceiling feel taller and less cramped. A good design choice for ceilings. 
especially in underground buildings. If you want something to feel not cramped, a good way to help it do so is to give it a nice light ceiling. That's why a lot of houses in America have white ceilings. We can get away with shorter ceilings that way. Oops. People don't even notice because... Darn, I'm really bad at placing blocks. You're less likely to notice if your roof is really short, or if your ceilings are really short, if we put uh, pretty things on them sometimes. But also if they're white. See that this feels taller than this. It's not, but this feels roomier, feels airier than this. Funny how stuff works that way, innit? Uh, let's get these back. This will be andesite, and this will be flush with this wall, pressure plates. I forgot to keep my powder out. Okay, yeah, I'm very glad that I bought out Peach's gravel shop, because I'm gonna need a lot of- I'm gonna need a lot of concrete. I should probably work on a bone farm fairly soon. Perhaps. So, this whole front entryway is finished. I don't have enough space in my inventory to pick either of these up, so we're just gonna work around it. Um, let's see. I don't think I wanna do this. Let's finish up this hallway. I do like the, uh, smooth stone outline, so I think even if I use blocks that aren't andesite, for the floor, I'm probably going to keep that. That's my whole entire pickaxe. I now have to go create more pickaxes. First, put that down. And then dump some of the stuff in my inventory in here. Okay, now I go make a new pick. Dilemma of thinking you've prepared, and learning that really you haven't. I underestimate, or I overestimate the power of pickaxe a lot. Ooh, I hope those vines that I'm seeing aren't secretly a mob, because that would be the kind of thing I'd mistake for vines. Oh, that's a drown. Alright, we'll just let there be light real quick, and then I'll make a new pick. There we go, now it is light. Um, do I have sticks in here? No. Where's my wood chest? That's not it. That's a bed. Stay in there. Oh, no, no picks. Oh, darn. Um. There we go. And then. Craft. Craft. this back. And then I'll close the door behind me, turn to the wood chest, and there we go. Oh, I bet you think you're funny, ain't ya? I'm gonna have to run right past you. Unless... <laughs> Just kidding. He can't get me if I use the nothing path. That egg and null left at my base. Pro gamer moves right there. Alright, let's see if I can't get one hallway finished in maybe interior design. Probably not, but I like to think that it is. Now I should use my fresh pickaxe to finish tearing this up. And be forced to acknowledge that I don't have enough concrete or powder. Or, oh no, wait, I do have more concrete powder. And since I'm not using nearly as much gray, I don't have to worry about running out because I don't have as much. I don't know where the squid farm is, so I can't easily go acquire more because I am a dummy. Whoops. Take these 
out. But leave this one. I think I'm gonna keep the walls consistent throughout the entire thing. Just a little bit of consistency is good. A little bit, a little bit of consistency is pretty okay. So I think the walls will stay. Lovely color combination I've given them. But everything else, that's not what I wanted to put there. Everything else will change based on where we are in the lab. Okay. Let's put down all of this that I have. And then run back up. I'm the master at thinking I have things handled and not having them handled. Really, it's it's like a special talent of mine. Thinking, oh, I got this. And realizing about five minutes later, oh, I don't got this. The skeleton is still over here and, oh no, he went away. Probably followed me on the land and burned. I gotta get this fast because I'm running out of time for this episode. Concrete. Yeah, I have a lot of sand and gravel at the moment because that was my prep for this episode. Acquire a lot of sand and buy out Glitch's gravel because she has conduit so she can mine it from the bottom of the ocean. And I don't and I am much too cheap to buy one even though I spent more diamonds on gravel than I would have on a conduit. Stunks. Back down we go. Straight to pristine, clean laborat- Oh, I don't need to put that up there. Saves blocks. Pristine, clean laboratory. A laboratory that makes you think of your doctor's office for some reason. Okay, where's my torches? I didn't bring as many of them down as I should have. Genius. Concrete. Don't have enough of this to finish this. That's okay. It's good to get a start. There we go. This is uncomfortably clean. I feel like I'm in the hospital. I don't know if I like how, like, pristine this feels, but I don't care enough to change it. So, uh, let me take these down, because I feel like this would be a good screening for the thumb. Sorry about that. Okay, there we go. Thumbnail acquired. Thank you for watching. If you're part of the morning crew, I hope you have a great day. If you're part of the evening crew, I hope your day's been great. If you're part of the afternoon crew, well, I hope your day is going all right. I've been Ruby Robotic, and I'll catch y'all in the next episode.